Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to apologize for the um, audio of the last video. Yeah, mm, I don't know what happened and I'm not techie so I tried to re-upload it but the sound is the same and then I tried to change it but the sound is the same. So, so sorry and just so you know when I make videos they're usually impromptu so information just pops up into my head every now and then and then that's why sometimes I'm missing some points, right? So again, whenever I make a YouTube video, it's my personal opinion. And if there are other opinions from others, I respect that as well. But please don't generalize us. So yeah, just and another thing, if you don't agree with me, it's okay. You're just hearing another one and then you can choose the good things for you. It's also what I do whenever I, I read about beauty or something. Sorry. So yeah, um... Wait, my hair, sorry. So anyway, uh, so some people are asking me, how was my trip, trip to the Philippines? Well, it was amazing, a bit boring, but amazing. Uh, I actually didn't go anywhere that much because some of my friends came from Japan and um, we and I took them around Clark. And do you know that we have Dinosaur Island? So Dinosaur Island is uh, like Jurassic Park first movie. But it's so funny because some of the dinosaurs, they were people moving. But some are animatronic. So, and then there were dancing dinosaurs. So I have some pictures right here. I just don't know if I have them all. But I'm going to show them to you. Because most photos that I took are of my friends. So... Yeah, I didn't even have nice photos to post on my Instagram, so kind of sad. But nevertheless, I had fun. I was around... So where is it? It's inside Clark. It's the picnic ground. For those who used to live in Clark, you know the picnic ground, right? It's so cheap to enter there, around uh, 150 pesos. So maybe they would go higher, but it's okay. And then they also have like Insectlandia, which is like an insect animatronics, but they're so huge and disgusting, so I don't really like insects. They even have this huge cockroach, which freaked me out. But they were dancing, so it's also nice. And I also, I also went target shooting. Again, thank you so much for Mountain Firing Range, Mountain Clark Firing Range. They also have these new packages, and it's renovated, so it's so clean now and more organized, and they're... Uh, pantry is more presentable see and then another changes that I have seen is that um, Clark yeah there are more developments in Clark and at the same time there's a new mayor so apparently he he, he shut down a lot of businesses because they didn't have any business permits or they didn't pay tax properly or they didn't past the sanitary 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 requirements so what do I think about that I'm okay about it if it's for my hometown um, I'm just surprised that it it you know these businesses were still you know were still what do you call that uh, operational even they didn't follow these rules like why why did the previous administration allow that right so i have these questions so but i can't answer them anyway but i'm happy with the changes so at least these are things are getting cleaned up um angular city information on facebook is also much better than before before they were just you know events events beauty pageants beauty pageants it's like come on maybe you did something for my hometown so now there are better updates so believe it or not, I kind of like my Balakat City uh, information. 30 minutes from Clark, uh, 30 minutes from Angeles City, 20. And they have a better Facebook page than Angeles City. Although Angeles City are improving now. That's very good, very nice. They also started um, banning uh, minor drinking. Yeah, people who are drinking who are minors. And a lot of raids happen in Angeles City. So... Yeah, for those who are who has illegal businesses, and um, I think they're also targeting businesses inside subdivisions. So I heard that there was this Korean uh, two people. They were they have this illegal masseuse business, and then they kind of you know prostituting women. So they're yeah they're handled now by our government. So they're also targeting other 
you know areas so it's quite it's quite good for me but on the other hand field seven is still messy but i want to go to tigtigan teraka and unfortunately my money says no but i would tell you why of course i would tell you why as our updates about the Philippines, well, um, we're going to have a train line and there's already, there are plans already and there's going to be a new airport which is Bulacan and uh, in Cavite. It is meant to decongest our, yeah, Naia or Ma Mia, I don't know, Manila Airport. So some would be in Cavite, some would be in. Bulacan and some would be in Clark. Now, Mira, why don't they just do them all in Clark? I don't know, but I actually asked the Department of Transportation about that. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> and apparently they mentioned, they told me their plan, but the plan was so long, like, oh, but I'm just satisfied with their answer. I couldn't really give you the thought. Apparently, they have these plans for this area and this area and this area. They wouldn't approve it if they didn't have any. But I'm kind of worried, like, after this administration, it might go bad. So, yeah, that's it. Um, and what else are the updates? Of course, free university in the Philippines. That's good, right? Uh, one of my siblings is uh, taking that chance as well. So, for instance, if you have like a girlfriend or a girlfriend with a daughter or son, please tell them to go to their barangay office and then they can get like indigency certificate. I know it doesn't sound good, but it can help them. It, they can, you know, they can avail for like a financial support for their university. Now, if they're going to a public university, they it's free. But... If they're going to go to a private university, it depends on their salary um, or their income, they would still, they would get some financial assistance. So it's not, I don't know how much because I've never tried it. Just kidding. So anyway, um, what else did I do? Oh, there's something else, but I'm going to say that in another video. But overall, I'm very satisfied with the updates in Angola City, more jobs, more hotels, more tourist spots, and yeah, so that's about it. Uh, less women, just kidding. <laughs>